Up next is the Ryanair chase. It's run over two mile five furlongs. 17 fences will be jumped. Ruby Walsh has run the race four times, most recently with Underso and the magnificent, the exceptional Vator. We've also had brilliant winners in the shape of Q Card, one of the most memorable horses of recent years, mm. and obviously last year's winner, Balco de Flo, although I don't know what's happened to him as he's been very, very poor. Garrett, take it away. Oh, well, it's actually f f funny that you ended with Abby because my pick is Balco de Flo. Wow. How on earth? I've never seen it. <laughs> the way that, that he won that race last year, yeah. he looked oh, was a class act. Yeah. Really, really good. Most of his runs this year over three miles. One run over, over two miles, two mile four wasn't wasn't bad. He, but his form over und undulating tracks like mm. Cheltenham seems to raise his game up a bit. Right. I think most of his runs over three miles this year would have been on flat tracks against class horses where he's been fancied yeah. mm. to run well. Yeah. But he hits, he hits all the stats and Irish trained horses in, in this race as well always tend to, to do really well mm -hmm. solid festival form fifth in a Albert Bartlett was leading the JLT when he fell Yeah, I think it's it'd be one of them ones as well where not a lot of people are going to put Bug or the Flow in their, their bet and it could easily act up again because yeah. if, yeah. if he can replicate what he done last year yeah. it was pretty I think he wins yeah, yeah. 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 well he, 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 he would place yeah it's a tough race because you, you're not sure who's going to go mm. from the Queen Mother, avoid Altio, and run in the Ryanair instead. Indeed. So it could be it could, it could be a good race. A lively outsider. Yeah, yeah, I'd say so, yeah. Yeah. Daryl. Uh, this is between Min and Monolly for me. Um, Min, as we all know, we said earlier, is the best two mile outside of Altio. This two miles four, I think this is at the, the edge of the stamina. Uh, the last day Min ran against Shattered Love. Um, Shad Love was made two or three big, big errors um, over in Ireland, and Shad Love she was closing on him all the way up the, up to the line. Yeah. Min just didn't look like he had anything left to give, and I think coming up this Cheltenham Hill, I think he's going to be vulnerable. Um, I would side with Monolly. Uh, this drop back and trip, he's been crying out for this drop back and trip for mm -hmm. a long, long time. Three miles is not the trip for Monolly. Mm -hmm. Drop back two miles, four, let him get out in front, let him go, and let him yeah. go hell for leather. Um, he's a free going sort, but he has, you know, won two of his three starts over this trip, including the Grade One Flogas uh, yep. uh, last time. Red, Red Mills chase more recently. Seven pounds he gave to Annabelle Fly, and Annabelle Fly is no mug. No, no I mean, absolutely a, not. It was an incredible performance. Yep. Uh, it's so much potential over this trip. Yeah, yep. I was so gutted last year when when he went to RSA say, yep. instead of. Mm. Instead of JLT, yeah. but I think he can give presenters Percy's RSA form a big boost here. I think yeah. he's the one they've got all, all got to beat, if I'm honest. Yeah, I, mean, I tend to agree that this is definitely the right race for Monolee. Yeah, yeah. obviously, second in Albert <coughs> Bartlett, second in the RSA. Yeah, so we do think that Stamina is issue, and we don't think he's an out and out no. three minor. If yeah. that is the case, then what he's done in those two races is ridiculous, Agreed. which means <coughs> him back if he if it is the trip that's the problem. I've just got a slight niggle. That run with Annabelle Fly was decent. He was given seven pounds, but he just he's obviously treading water at the end of his races in the Albert Park at the end mm -hmm. of the RSA. I, I've, I just expected a little bit more from him. I know he won quite well against Annabelle Fly. He just didn't really set me alight, and that put me off him as a bit for the for the Ryanair. I just wonder whether he's just maybe not top class. And maybe the three miles is all right. The two and a half might be all right. He's just not good enough to win a race. What about his race. jumping at times? It's been a bit sketchy. That's it. And he's fallen, I think he's fallen a couple of times. Mm. I mean, he won the flow gas novice chase when there was sort of like a bunched finish. There was loads of horses coming at him and he looked yeah. quite gutsy then, but that was a flat track finish. I just genuinely worry about him up the hill. I don't, I can't see him bounding clear. I think like the way Balco de Flo won last year and he just went clear of him to say, that's the sort of finisher you need in there. Yeah, I perhaps, just, yeah. I just, I just think, I think Monoli definitely should run in there and I think a lot of people will fancy him, but I just, I don't Came know. Came swinging in that RSA though, didn't he? Yeah, and then nothing. Yeah. And I think if I, Alvin yeah, Vert would have stood up, so. but he would have picked, Alvin Vert would have picked him up and I agree, yeah, but I just, I don't, I don't know. I, I, was, I always thought three miles are too far for him, so I think this is the right trip for him, but I'm just starting to beg the question now. I just think he might not be good enough, but we'll see. So I've taken him on with probably my next best of the festival. Tiger Roll's already hacked up. I'm hosed up. I'm, I'm going to just do it all on Fox Norton. <laughs> the boy is a beast. So talking about horses being campaigned at the wrong trip, Fox Norton's run once at two and a half miles when he was a novice. He got his highest racing post rating, which was 174. So as a novice, that's ridiculous. They've never run him at two and a half miles since. 
They stuck him in the champion chase when he just got done a neck by Special Giara. The race with Duval obviously got himself injured in. Yeah. So he's not going to win a champion chase if he can't do it then. They mm -hmm. stuck him in the Tingle Creek last year and he got beat by Politolog. Now, don't want to knock that horse, but I don't think he's right up there. They then stuck him in the King George to try a bit of a trip, which was Colin Tizard's not shy of running his horses over any distance. Rather than asking the question, do they stay, don't they stay, he'll just shove them in a race yeah. and find out. And he won't find a fiddly little race, he'll stick him in proper mm -hmm. company. That ruined him last season, so he obviously missed the rest of the season. Mm -hmm. But I thought his comeback run at Ascot behind Altior was reasonable, considering Altior is just an absolute unit. Yeah. Yeah. I thought he ran mm -hmm. all right at Ascot, and I think Surnam going clear did him a massive favour, because if that had come back to him and they actually decided to ride a finish, probably would have taken a bit more out of him. They left the hood off those last two times, and he hasn't run without the hood for a long time. I'm pro I think they'll set him up for this race, because he's not going to win the Melon Chase at Aintree, because Altior is going to go there. This is his chance <coughs> to do it. And as I say, his form at that sort of trip, considering it's only one run, I think looks pretty solid. I just think Fox Norton wins. But sense. I'll follow him over the yeah, to be yeah. fair. He's a nine-year-old now, so hopefully he won't see another festival. If he does get done here, otherwise I'm going to do my conkers again. But Strong case, I really like it. <laughs> Strong case. Case. Right, Garen, let's get a selection. I would say Bell got a flow. Oh, got a flow, a nice, lively outsider. Darryl. I'll cover the two. I'm not going to abandon Mona Lee, but I am going to wade in behind you again. I do like that case you made for Fox Norton. And there was something when he ran behind Al Tior. I thought mm. it was quite a nice return run. Um, I do think there could be more to come from him. So I will go Mona Lee and Fox Norton. Yep, so I'll be all in on Fox Norton, but I probably would Ooh. look for a little bit of cover in this. I mean, I went Love it. big on Finian's Oscar in the JLT last year. Yep. That balls up. He did be good at Aintree. Just worry whether I've actually got Fox Norton right or not. So I would probably have a little bit of cover there. I don't know what I cover with, but I think Fox Norton could be a good thing. Love the confidence. Well, I'm a Mona Lee fan. I've long been a, a fan of this horse, trained by Henry de Bromhead. He was second in an R Albert Bartlett, second in an RSA, and obviously giving seven pounds away to Annabelle Flyers, rated 164, was no mean yeah. feat. I think yeah. the drop back in trip is really going to help this horse, and I think Henry has got his jumping spot on. We are going to move on and start talking about the Stayers Hurdle, where we could have a new star on the block. <coughs> 